What's up everybody? I got a new video for you guys. Today I'm going to be installing some new LED bulbs to the DRLs, your daytime running lights. They would sit right, right there. As you can see, I actually put a little tin on there. I'll actually make a separate video on that later. But today we're gonna focus on the actual bulbs themselves. I finally got them in the mail. I'm gonna explain to you guys a little bit of what I tried doing first and uh, ultimately why I went with this choice. So let's go with the opening and I'll show you what I have. All right guys, so like I said, it came in the mail recently and I haven't really fully opened it yet, but this is what I got. I'm gonna show you exactly what it is that I got. So when I was looking for different bulbs, I had some issues trying to figure out which, which ones to buy or what not to get. So I ended up getting these. There's a certain reason why I got these bulbs. I know in the description where I bought them online, they are super bright, supposed to be really good, and it's uh, specific for a 2015 and up Jeep Renegade. So that's what I looked up when I, when I went to get these, and I will pick that up here in a second. But no, I will leave a link in the description uh, if you guys want to purchase these same ones. It did take me a little longer for it to come in. I think they were shipped from China. What I ended up doing beforehand, went to my local O'Reilly's. I bought some bulbs from them, but the reason why I don't recommend doing that is most bulbs don't come with their own resistors. These come with their own load resistors uh, within the bulb itself all, all together. So when I went to O'Reilly's to buy some bulbs, even though they were the right number, they weren't designed to have its own load resistors in them. And if you don't buy them without them, you will get that annoying DRL warning light or even the brake light. You definitely want to have some that have load resistors within. Uh, either you could buy the ones from O'Reilly's, that's fine, they work. And that's currently what I have on the car, but it does come up with that, um, that misread fault. Uh, you could always buy a separate load resistor to plug into the LED bulb. It's just more time consuming. I would rather get some that have some already integrated within and uh, just plug and play is really what it ultimately is at the end. I'm going to put these in and I'm going to show you guys how it's done and we'll see how it turns out. We are actually going to be coming in here. Uh, it's a little dirty in here, I should probably clean it, but you see that plastic flap it has the two Phillip head bolts? Well, they're plastic bolts, but these need to come out and that's how you'll get to the DRLs or even your turn signals which are next to your DRLs but we're gonna get in there in order to do that we're gonna have to crank the wheel you could either crank it in to your left or outwards to your right either or it doesn't matter I'm just gonna crank it to the left and then I'll still be able to get to it on the other side uh, with it being left as well so the only thing you're going to need down here is your Phillips head screwdriver and my, I remember remember guys this is uh, plastic screws so you don't want to you don't really want to mess these up they're easy to come out um, but like I said they're plastic screws so just be careful make sure you don't break it come out pretty easily get them out as far as you can I believe they just pop out with a little plastic right here you can kind of see that it's gonna pop out with it yep just like that keep it put it to the side put it in your pocket whatever you got to do just don't lose it same thing with this one down here I will pick that up. And there we go. That one's out now. Put the two together. Put my screwdriver down. This thing you just pull out just like that. Now you have the opening. And you should be able to stick your hand in there. Grab the bulb. Now there are two of them in there. One is to the left of it. One's to the right. You want to pull the one to the left. So you want to stick your arm or your hand straight in. And it's actually a little little higher up than you think up straight in and up a little once you grab it you want to twist it clockwise pull it out now this is the LED bulb that I originally got for it this is the one that I got at uh, O'Reilly's and it works it lights up but like I said I get that fault once you grab the bulb you want to twist counterclockwise we'll take it out 
Now, if you want to know what the original bulb looks like, I still have one. So, this is what the original bulb looks like. Nothing, nothing crazy, simple, very simple. But if you want to know what it looked like. Now, let's put on one of the new ones. They should go in the same way as we took them out. If you can kind of see, there's that little notch. There's one on the opposite end. And that's what on this LED bulb. It also has little notches. Now you gotta remember when you put in these bulbs, there is a specific way you wanna put it in. If you put them in like this, it won't let you turn it. You just gotta flip it the other way, put it in, twist, no problem. Now we just gotta put it back in. You get it in there, stick it in, and turn it counterclockwise. Perfect. Alright, that one's done. Now let's put this bad boy back on and we'll get to the other side. So like I said before, we could do it either way the tire's turned. Right now it's turned to the left still. I didn't move it. Just to show you the guys that I can do it both ways. There we go. Came right out. Same thing, feel it over. It should be the one on the right this time. Here we go, there it is. Now we'll grab it, turn it towards you. Perfect. Now we'll just put on the new one. We'll put that one on, same way as before. That one fits in perfect. Looks like there's a little light on there already. Good. Go back up, put it back in. All right, we'll put this guy back on. Very, very simple. Very simple, super easy. Shouldn't have any problems. If everything turns out well, we shouldn't have that warning light anymore. And you could ride around with a warning light if you want, but it's just kind of annoying to have that. And if they have a bulb that already has load resistors, then why not, you know? Honestly, I think the bulbs only cost me like 10 bucks. Compared to these, these that I got, these were 20 bucks. All right, let's start the car up. See if we get that warning light fault anymore. Looks like we are not getting that warning light fault anymore. Awesome. Now let's actually take a look at them. Let's go outside and take a look at them. Oh yeah, oh yeah, they're on. They look to be nice. It looks perfectly smooth, looks great. Oh yeah, awesome. Let's, uh, let's wait till tonight. Get some night footage. All right, as you can see, it is nighttime now. Went to my local park, found the darkest spot, but here you go. As you can see, these uh, DRLs are actually pretty dang bright. Definitely brighter than the ones I got originally from O'Reilly's. Yeah, they're pretty dang bright. Honestly, if it wasn't for that tin I have over it, it actually be brighter, but it doesn't look as bright as it does on camera, but you definitely see that it's pretty bright. That's what it looks like with everything on. You can definitely tell the difference. In person, you can kind of tell on, on the camera. Definitely need to update the the side markers. Or at least tin them out. I'm going to end the video like this. Yeah. So, very simple. LED bulbs on my 2017 Jeep Renegade.